Hi folks, very excited Mudford here tonight. Um, I'm working on this Onan generator. If you remember from parts one and two, I've had a few problems with it. And I got some very exciting news tonight. First, I'll show you what I did to get where we're at. Okay, I used an old um, trick from um, old electricians and some old timers will tell you. you um, if the generator sets for too long, what you need to do is field flash it. Something about, I'm not sure the technical, something about losing the uh, magnetism or something. But you plug something, a drill in. We don't really have a plug in. This is a three phase. But I, I hook, did hook it up. Um, I hooked up between the T3 and the ground. And that should be like a 120 or 110 circuit. So I hooked it up there. And what I did, I have the drill, the electric drill hooked up, wired up to it, just like it would be plugged in in a normal generator. And I just have them chucked together. There's a um, just a stud in between them. And I just used the cordless drill. I just um, cranked it, and it made the other drill spin. And that actually acts as a generator then. And it back fed power in to the generator. And now we have a working generator. So let me show you how show you how that works. Um, I've already got a battery hooked up here. Let me hook up my power to my coil. We'll go ahead and start it. because as you can see basically we've got no water pump I mean we have a water pump but the belt's not hooked up to it and you can probably see the steam coming out uh, I got to get a radiator and a fan and all that hooked up and I have a friend who's gonna help me build electronically controlled governor for it hopefully we can do that but we've got juice now we're in business so I wasn't sure whether to go ahead with all the other stuff I wanted to see power first but we've got power, so pretty excited about that.